Good day everyone. Let us try to solve this geometry problem. Now, we consider the square here with a side measuring x. And inside the square, we have a triangle whose sides measures 3, 4, and 5. Now, we're going to find the length of the side of the square. Now, as you can see, the sides of the triangle measuring 3 and 4 intersects a certain portion of the side of the square. And when it does, the side of the square is now divided into two portions. And aside from that, two triangles are formed. One of such triangle is this red triangle, and the other triangle is the yellow triangle. And as you can see, the portion of the side of the square became a side of one of these triangles. So a portion of the side of a square becomes a side of this red triangle and a portion of the side of a square became a side of this yellow triangle. So once we can find the measure of this side here for the yellow triangle and the measure of this side here for the red triangle, then we will now have the ready value for x because this part here is just equal to this part. But in order for us to do that, we will establish first the relationship between the two triangles. But first, let's try to label this part here. So this part here, let's try to label that as y. And then since this part here is formed when we take y out of x, because in order to get this, you have to break y from x. So this will be x minus y. Now, looking at the two triangles, notice that one of their angles are the vertices of the square. And on the vertices of the square, the angles are 90 degrees. Therefore, these angles here are 90 degrees. And then we can say that these two triangles are right triangles. And it's obvious from the figure that one of the right triangles is bigger than the other. So right triangles always have the same form, but they have different size, so that means they are similar. But to see if they are really similar and to determine which parts are corresponding, let's try to establish a similarity first. Now, let's label one of the angles of the red triangle as A. Since the two acute angles in a right triangle are complementary to each other, then the measure of the other one is 90 minus A. And if you can notice that this triangle here is 3, 4, 5, so this is a 3, 4, 5 triangle, then this is a right triangle because the sides establishes a Pythagorean triple. And you can check that by simply squaring 3 and then squaring 4, adding their sum, and then getting the square, you will get 5. So the measures of the side of this given triangle actually satisfies the Pythagorean theorem. Therefore, this is a right triangle. Now, this angle here, this angle and this angle forms a straight line. That means it has a measure of 180. In other words, to solve for this one, you have to subtract 180 by this and this one. So that is now 180 minus 90, which is this one, minus 90 minus A. That will just be equal to A. And again, since this is a right triangle and the acute angles of a right triangle are complementary to each other, the other remaining angle is 90 minus A. Therefore, these two angles are corresponding and these two angles here are corresponding as well. And again, since the corresponding angles are the same, then we have now established that the yellow triangle is similar to the red triangle by the AA similarity theorem. 
And since the triangles now are similar, we can now say that their corresponding parts are proportional. So we will establish now the proportion for the corresponding sides. Now this side is the longer side. It corresponds to this side here because this is the longer side. So the side here is x minus y. And this side here is just the side of the square, which is x. Therefore, the ratio is x minus y over x. Then you have a given side here. That's the hypotenuse, which is 3. Now the hypotenuse of the red triangle is 4. That's why you have 3 over 4. We cross multiply, we have 4 times x minus y equals 3x. Solving for this one, we, we have x minus 4y equals 0. And if we solve for y, then we have y equals x over 4. So that means this y here could be replaced by x over 4. So we can just have it as x over 4. And since this one here is just x because this is a side of a square and a side of a square are equal to each other, then this will just be, again, this will just be x. So we now have Pythagorean theorem, the sum of the squares of the two sides is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. That's why we have x minus x over 4 squared plus x squared equals 4 squared. Solving that one, we have x squared over 16 plus x squared. Then that becomes 17x squared minus 16. If we're going to solve for x here, that becomes 17x squared over 256. And finally, you have x equals 16 square root of 17 over 17. This is our answer, and the problem is solved. That's it for this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more challenging geometry problems. Thank you so much. Enjoy learning.